Situation of St. Catherine is now distressed after getting notices to leave government land in two months. Some people have been living on the land in question for more than 50 years. I am totally upset. I not sleep last night. I can't sleep. We have to live somewhere on earth. We can't live in the sky. We can't live on the sea. The residents, along with their member of parliament, are begging government for mercy and dialogue. Before we tell more about that, we encourage you to support this company. Our community has been left worried since last evening when several residents received notices demanding that they pack up their belongings and leave the property within the next two months. Some of the residents have been living there for more than 50 years. The rural community, which has more than 100 households, is known as Pleasant Hill or Hog Pond and is located near Pennington District in the Loadersville Division of St. Catherine. The residents told the beacon that they were stunned last evening when they saw a man driving through the community, handing out the notices for them to vacate the land by December 6 or be removed forcibly. The notice, dated October 6, 2022, accuses the residents of illegally occupying the land. The notice also bears the signature purportedly of the lawyer representing the Commissioner of Lands. One of the residents affected, Andre Duhaney, said that the government authorities had been in discussion with residents about becoming legitimate owners of the land. I'm a resident of Pleasant Hill, Low Islandsville, otherwise Providence. I'm living in this area for over 30 years with my family. We build our house here, have our children and everything here. We, before the last election, they came in, Mr. Amos came and said we are to apply for sending application towards the land. We did so, and they sent out some persons from land authority to us. And they came, they walk around and they do an in in inventory saying they want to know what is on the property and they walk around each and every person with everybody name on it they said the next person that would be coming would be surveyor and they're not gonna push people off the land they are gonna do it just the way that you have the piece of land and yesterday only to see Land Authority come here. We expecting to hear that the land is ready to to survey that people can get a title. Only to see them come with this letter showing that we are to evacuate the land. And this is what the letter says to us by the 6th of December. Where we are going by the 6th of December. This can't work. It can't happen. We expect them to come and have a dialogue with us. Nobody come to talk to us more than to bring an eviction letter. I am totally upset. Me not sleep last night. Me can't sleep. Another resident, Frederick Moyton, said he has been living on the roadside land since 1972 or for 50 years now. It's where he raised all his children and invested everything he worked for. The situation can't read to the man. This is a bad idea. The wish for where I live. Family found this land and now kill me have my children, them six children and seven grand and all. So this condition can't read to the man. The wish for where I live. The boy I'm coming last night and I found here said later, drop off here towards land and property. So we just pass from property, property where we live here much years. So if the government want the land or we we live better. And if we just think that, just get the land severe and we can take time to pay for it. We can't pay for the land where we where we not, where we not think that. Where we not severe or we don't know much we are pay for. You understand? So right now, when we hear now, it's like a knife on my belly. Because mm -hmm. they get me ignorant, you see me? And so if we move off the land, where we all move go? Yeah? Residents in this and other communities in the Loidersville Division have had to struggle hard for decades to become legitimate landowners in an area steeped in sugarcane plantation history. The land in question was once owned by the nearby Worthy Park Sugar Estate. 
A community in the Loidersville division of St. Catherine is now distressed after getting notices to leave government land in two months. Some people have been living on the land in question for more than 50 years. I am totally upset. Me not sleep last night. Me can't sleep. We have to live so we can't